Allah responds to you and Jibreel alayhi salam responds to you. So you want Jibreel alayhi salam to say your name right now? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. What about now? Does he stop coming to the earth now? Is he gone? Do we, does he no, never come down anymore? Actually, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. one time he came out, and this is a hadith narrated in Muawiyah, by Muawiyah radiallahu anhu. We were just sitting in the masjid and we were talking. And suddenly the Prophet sallallahu came out to us and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he said to us, what are you talking about? And they said, Ya Rasulullah, we're just talking about how lucky we are, how blessed we are to be guided to Islam. The Prophet ﷺ said, is that all you were talking about? They said, Ya Rasulullah, all we were talking about is our days of ignorance and how we're blessed to be guided to Islam. The Prophet ﷺ said, don't worry. He said, I just wanted to come to you because Atani Jibreel. Jibreel just came to me. And he said, those companions of yours that are sitting out in the masjid, أَخْبَرَنِي أَنَّ اللَّهَ يُبَاهِي بِكُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ Jibreel just came to me and said, Allah is bragging about them to the angels right now. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ إِذَا حَبَّ عَبْدًا نَادَ جِبْرِيلٍ When Allah loves someone, He calls Jibreel and He says, يَا جِبْرِيلٍ إِنِّي أُحِبُّ فُلَانٍ Oh Jibreel, I love so-and-so. فَأَحِبَّ Love that person as well. فَيُحِبُّهُ جِبْرِيلٍ Jibreel loves you. Jibreel doesn't need to know anything else about you. He just needs to know Allah loves you. And if Allah loves you, that's enough for Jibreel to love you as well. So Jibreel goes and calls all of the angels and the inhabitants of the heavens and says, يَا مَلَائِكَ يَا أَهْلَ السَّمَاء إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ فُلَانٍ Allah loves this person, so love him as well. So all of the inhabitants of the heavens love him as well. SubhanAllah. Think about your name being said in this conversation between Allah and Jibreel and Jibreel and the angels. And think about how many likes that is, right? You're talking about trillions of angels that love you. They don't just like you, they love you. وَيُوضَعُ لَهُ الْقَبُولُ فِي الْأَرْضِ And Allah places acceptance for that person in the hearts of the people. That's Jibreel alayhi salam. He continues to be amongst the angels that come down to the gatherings that remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah that He be amongst us right now. That's the, the, the question I ask myself every time I teach this class. I'm like, how amazing would it be if Jibreel was actually here right now? If Jibreel alayhi salam is actually amongst us reporting our name to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in Ramadan, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? Tanazzalu al malaikatu wa ruhu fiha. The angels come down and none other than Jibreel is amongst them. This is in the Arabic language, al khas al am specifying someone amongst them. They came and Jibreel was amongst them. SubhanAllah. So when you're praying taraweeh on that night, or you're reading Quran or doing dhikr, how do you know Jibreel is not the one coming to your house and reporting your name to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's something to aim for. That Jibreel comes to my house and reports my name to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that night of Laylatul Qadr. And we should have that husn al in Allah, that, that good expectation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that that's very possible and that yes, a lowly person like me, Jibreel alayhi salam could be sent to report my name back to my creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah, even, you know, every time you see al-ruh wal malaika, al malaika wal ruh, the angels and Jibreel is specified amongst them. You know, even in some cultures, they, there's, there's a special mention of Jibreel alayhi salam just in our everyday language. Some of the Arabic, uh, some, some of the Arabs, whenever they finish the food and there's the dua, Salat alaykum al malaika, may the angels send their prayers upon you. Some of them would say, Illa Jibreel ba'd al shay, <laughs> except for Jibreel after the tea, right? It's like there's this recognition, it's inherent inside of us that Jibreel is greater than the rest of the angels. But you know what? What does Allah tell us? Yawma taqoom al ruhu. وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ صَفًّا لَا يَتَكَلَّمُونَ On that day, and Allah puts a ruh this time before the angels, that even a ruh, Jibreel, will be standing in his place and the angels in their rows, they don't speak unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands them, commands them to speak. They do exactly as they're told. Would we meet Jibreel alayhi salam on the day of judgment? Hudayfa radiallahu anhu narrates an authentic athar that Jibreel is the angel that will be in charge of al-mizan the scales. May Allah make it easy for us on that day, the scales. You would actually see Jibreel alayhi salam on the scales on that day. What about in Jannah? Can you be with Jibreel? Can you actually be with Jibreel telling him about the story of Jibreel and the class that you took? And, and can you talk to Jibreel in Jannah? Can you be with him? Can you? You're with the one that you love. Not only that, the Prophet sallallahu says, رَأَيْتُ جَعْفَرُ I saw Ja'far رضي الله تعالى عنه وَهُوَ يَطِيرُ فِي الْجَنَّةِ مَعَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ And he was flying in Jannah with the angels. You could get your pair of wings and you could fly with Jibreel alayhi salam in Jannah. We know that that exists. We know that that place is there. 
But I want to end this night, dear brothers and sisters, with something to make it a little bit more personal now. Jibreel is the wali of the Prophet ﷺ from the angels. Jibreel is his wali. Who is your wali from the angels? It's a powerful question. And what do I mean by that? The Prophet ﷺ said, every night before you go to sleep, an angel comes down to you. And he says, Ikhtim bi khair. Ikhtim bi khair. Ikhtim bi khair. End your night well. End your night well. End your night well. End it with the remembrance of God. End it with an act of charity. End it with a word of kindness. End it with something good. End it with dhikr. End it with wudu. You know, end it with something good. Because you might not wake up. End well. The, the angel prompts you, end well. And the Prophet ﷺ said, a shaitan on the other hand says, ikhtim bishar, end in evil. And the Prophet ﷺ said, if you listen to that angel, ikhtim bikhair, and you end your night well, the angel spends the entire night with you, seeking forgiveness for you and praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on you. Until you wake up in the morning and the angel says, iftah bikhair, iftah bikhair, iftah bikhair. Start your day off well, start your day off well, start your day off well. And the Prophet ﷺ said, if he starts his day off well, the angel spends the entire day with him, seeking forgiveness for him and asking Allah to have mercy on him. That's your wali from the angels. SubhanAllah is just telling Ustad Nu'man what he recited in Salat al-Maghrib. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَلَّا تَخَافُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوَعَدُونَ the angels come down to the believer as he's passing away. The wali, your awliya from the malaika, your guardians, your protectors, the ones who loved you and were with you your entire life from the angels, they come to you. Just as Jibreel came to the Prophet and they say, don't worry, don't grieve. We were your awliya in this world and in the hereafter as well. Come out to Jannah, Allah has promised it to you. And the Prophet said the believing soul would jump out of this body of joy. It will come out in happiness, subhanAllah. Whereas some people are to the opposite. Billah. Now I want you to think about that for a moment, dear brothers and sisters, and recognize that the angels are the last thing that we see before we come into this world, and the first thing we see as we're leaving it. In fact, from the tests of this world is that it's the only time in our existence that the angels are concealed from us. Because if we saw them, None of us would act the way that we do. But we choose to surround ourselves in our daily lives with angels, be it Jibreel or other angels, or with shayateen. We make that choice every single moment of our lives, who to surround ourselves with. And SubhanAllah, in closing, I just want you, you know, I, I want to share with you guys something very, very personal. And SubhanAllah, when I say it's very personal, I say that I literally, um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's actually very hard for me to say this. Do you know Dliya Yusur Razan? the three young people that were murdered in Chapel Hill. May Allah have mercy on them. Do you know that they were sitting in this class right before they died? Do you know that this was the last class that they took? Here they were sitting, listening to Jibreel, the angels, what it's like when you die, how the angels come to you. And the thought that maybe, just maybe, those same angels came to them and that they're actually experiencing that realm right now. We ask Allah that they be granted a shahada. That thought, subhanAllah, really is humbling. And in fact, I actually have someone actually tweeted to me when they passed away the Snapchat messages from Yusur, rahmatullah alayha, talking about the class. And I read that and I couldn't believe what I was reading. And if I had a screen, I would actually show you a picture of that chat and just seeing it in front of you. And she's telling a cousin of hers that I just took this class. You've got to take it. It was amazing. I never felt so close to Jibreel alayhi salam. And her cousin saying, is it, you know, is it going to be anywhere? And she says, I think they're going to record it for Bayana TV. They're based out of Dallas. She says, you should look them up. And at the end of the text, she says, you should look up Nurman Ali Khan too. <laughs> I read that and I said, that's the one praise that I will actually take and I'd say Alhamdulillah and I hope she's testifying on her behalf right now. I hope, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that she's testifying on our behalf and that's the one person subhanAllah that, that I wouldn't mind taking that praise from right now. May Allah allow them to testify on our behalf. May Allah allow us to be joined with the malaika, with the angels. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be in the highest companionship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.